Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle just dropped his first trailer today. We're gonna do a full breakdown. It's Lou from Media of the Multiverse, and we're back at it. Let's go. All right, right off the bat, we actually have Jaime Reyes. A lot of people actually pronounce the name wrong. It's not Jamie Reyes, it's Jaime Reyes. Start off the trailer showing that he has a really good and loving connection with his family. There's always room for family. The trailer then continues on. You can see that he's trying to get a job at Court Industries. Outside the building, you can actually see the Court family name sitting out front. And if you didn't know, Court is actually the second person to hold the mantle of Blue Beetle. He actually had the suit, but he didn't actually be able to use the powers. He had to use his own equipment and gadgetry and use his own intelligence. Now back to the trailer. Now Reyes is immediately caught by surprise by Jenny Cord, Ted Cord's daughter. She then hands him a to-go box telling him to protect this with his life. Reyes takes the box home and opens it up and his family finds out that the scarab is inside. Right off the bat, the scarab tries to attach to Reyes. You can tell that they do this sort of mechanomorphosis looking Power Rangers kind of ordeal and it looks great. CGI looks great. They kind of fly off and try to show what his potential powers could be. You can tell that the Scarab actually wants to protect itself more than it wants to protect Reyes. They haven't really built that bond or trust yet, but the Scarab actually likes Reyes enough to attach to his body. As the trailer goes on, Victoria Cord, who is Ted Cord's sister, actually takes over the Cord industry. You can tell she's the antagonist for the story alongside a villain by the name The Indestructible Man. Throughout the trailer, there's a lot of action, a lot of fight scenes. You could probably see some certain objects that might have been used during court today since he wasn't able to use the scarab. Now let's rewind because I thought in this scene that I might have seen the black scarab or I might have seen Reach type of technology. If you don't know who the Reach is, the Reach is an alien race that actually created the scarab technology. But I'll dive into that whenever I do the Blue Beetle this time. As the trailer comes to an end, you can see that it started to get a little bit more comfortable with the scarab. He actually built some type of sword that reminds me of a lot of Ichigo Zangetsu. It was really cool to me how he does like the power engine move and it comes to a cool end. At the end of the trailer, they show George Lopez and Reyes inside of some type of, I guess, Blue Beetle cave, and they say it kind of reminds them of the Bat Cave, showing the existence of Batman in their world and that he is active and relevant. In all, I love the trailer. I felt like it was fun. I felt like it was exciting. I felt like it was different, something DC hasn't done yet. And I feel like this is definitely going to be the game changer to bring more DC fans and other fans alike to come to the theaters to watch more movies. Now, you guys know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and follow. And I'll catch you guys next time, Society Family.